Here's the weekly reset, so I'm gonna go over everything that's available for this week, and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset, but as you guys can see, the Moments of Triumph is ending soon. So go ahead and complete everything that you need to in order to get the seal. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadow Key giveaway for the month of August 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. I will announce the winner of the July 2019 giveaway in my next video, so that's actually going to come out tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and get on with the wonderful challenges for this week. As for the Traveler, we have, uh, go ahead to Ikora, complete all her bounties, 5,000 XP for your clan, open a couple of chests for Kallus, and then we have, uh, forge two weapon frames. We also have to, uh, unlock several packages for, uh, this lady here, if you haven't already done so, like me. Coming over to Mars. We have the Flashpoint for the week. You can complete this by doing public events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you do Heroic Public Events, you can get this done a lot faster. As for the Vanguard, we need to go ahead and complete three daily story missions, as well as complete three strikes. Modifiers this week are Void Singe, Iron, and Heavyweight. Coming over to the Nightfall, we need to go ahead and complete a Nightfall, as well as a Nightfall with 100,000 points. The Nightfalls this week are the Lake of Shadows, the Hollowed Lair, and the Will of the Thousands. Hollowed Lair probably would be the fastest. Uh, actually, it's like a tie between Lake of Shadows and uh, Hollowed Lair. Um, if you're going through every single thing and not trying to skip parts. Then down here for Gambit, we have the Reckoning, which you need to go ahead and get 100% uh, for progress. Coming to Gambit, we need to go ahead and complete three Gambit matches, as well as complete four Gambit Prime matches. Crucible, the mode of the week is doubles, and we need to go ahead and complete five Crucible matches for the entire week. Doubles is actually included in that. As for the Dreaming City, Petra Venge is in uh, Ray Sylvia, so go ahead and complete two of her uh, weekly bounties. So let's go ahead and find out what Tess Everest has for us at Eververse this week. Gonna go ahead and pick that up. So we have the Summertide Kite Ship, the uh, Breathe In Emote, the Triumphant Projection, the Flag on the Play Emote, as well as uh, one fell swoop vehicle, and then your wonderful best of year one and grams. Let's go ahead and take a look at these real quick. That's cool and all, but Reckless will never bow before no man. Ghost projection. And that's it for all of that. As for the Bright Dust, we have a Lemon Blue and a Vanguard, as well as of the Crucible. Then we have the First Light Shader. That's what it looked like. Then we have the Ultraviolet, which is an ornament for the Borealis. This actually makes the Borealis look badass. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Then we have the Electronica Shell. And last but not least, the Aeon Plume, which is a speeder, vehicle, whatever you want to call it. Coming down, as you guys can see, we still have the um, the glow packs. So if you want to buy them with silver, you can. 
if you want to buy them with bright dust you can as well and then all this wonderful stuff uh, is for oh, I'm sorry is for silver at least these last four seasonal offerings are always the same same thing with the archive so we have the uh, breathing emote which we just seen as well as the shaded shell puts uh, little glasses on your uh, ghost it's pretty cool or glass it's really just, technically just one lens then we have the buoy shell legacy 2 it's like Noah's Ark <laughs> like a giant canoe I know canoes and arcs aren't the same thing. Jesus. Uh, then we have Silly Handshake. As well as Flick at a Wrist. Once again, I really think this would have been a lot cooler if it was a basketball and their finger was up, but that's, you know, who am I? As well as the Triumphant Projection. Coming down here, we got all your boons. Then we got the uh, Tangerine Gloss Shader. That makes you look so bright. Such a target. As well as the Pomegranate Gloss. Then we have the Beach Ball Effects. As well as the Sandcastle Effects. And then you got your wonderful Eververse Bounties. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon. And I will see you guys in the next video.